In this video, we're going to look at how to insert an object into a Word document. The kind of objects we'll be looking at are pictures, images, charts, and drawn objects. But let's get started with this then. Two ways of doing it. One is to use the Draw toolbar, and you can see that at the bottom of my screen. I'll just click and drag it up to unanchor it to make it easier to see. Of course, if you haven't got the Drawing toolbar, then you know already that you can use View and Toolbars to select that toolbar. There's our drawing toolbar. We can use this to insert objects, or we can use the insert menu. Insert, picture, and these are the objects, or some of the objects we'll be working with. We'll start with the drawn objects. These are the drawn objects, ovals, rectangles, arrows, lines, and auto shapes. To insert these, it's a two-step process. Say, for example, we want a square. I click once on the rectangle and let go of the mouse button. I then move my cursor onto the document where I want to create that rectangle and then use a click and drag motion to create the shape and then let go. We'll try that with an oval. Click once on the oval, let go of the mouse button, move onto your document and then click and drag to the desired shape and size. It's exactly the same process with the arrow and the line. So I'm not going to show you those. I'm sure you can cope with that. But I will look at auto shapes. If I click this drop down arrow, then we've got a range of different auto shapes that we can select. Arrows, connectors, basic shapes. And to use these is exactly the same process. If you like these, are just shortcuts to these. So I'm just going to choose a block arrow. No, I won't. I'll choose a basic shape. And there's a smiley face. Same process. One click with the left mouse button, move onto your document, and then click and drag. And there's your smiley face. So that's how to insert the drawn objects. We'll now look how to insert pictures and images. If you've got a picture on your computer saved as a file and you want to include that into your Word document, you can use this method. What you have to do though with this method is make sure of where your cursor insertion point is. Because when we insert this object, that's where it goes. So if I want to insert a picture after the end of this paragraph, I need to put the cursor insertion point there by clicking. I then use these icons, insert picture. I click there once with the left mouse button. And the computer opens up the insert picture dialog box, looking in your My Pictures folder. And there's all the pictures that are available to you on your computer. Of course, you might have saved doc uh, not documents, files elsewhere. And you can navigate using the normal navigation tools. You can go up levels. Um, you can use the drop down. You can use these icons down the left hand side to navigate to different areas of your computer. Luckily, the picture I want is in the My Pictures folder. And all you need to do is choose the one you want to insert. I'm going to insert this one. And then simply the Insert button. There is the picture inserted exactly where your cursor insertion point was. And you see the point, the, the line is still flashing there. We'll try that once more. If I come to the bottom of the page, there's my insertion point. Use the Insert Picture button. Choose the image that you want to, to insert. And then the Insert button. And there's the signature inside your document. So that's inserting pictures that you've got on your file. But we've also got Clip Art or the Image Library. It's called both things. And for that, we use this icon, the Insert Clip Art icon. Clip Art is a selection of pictures that are free for you to use. Make sure your cursor insertion point is where you want it to be. You can see mine there is in the middle, middle of the word fox. That's not where I want it, but I'm going to leave it there to show you why you've got to be careful. We select the button Insert Clip Art. Click once, and it opens up the Clip Art task pane. All we need to do is put in a search criteria of what we want to search for. I've typed in fox, and then you click the Go button. But there are a couple of options you can make. First is where to search in, and the default is all collections. 
but you might not want to search on the internet for example the default is that that's selected so it'll look on the Microsoft website as well as your own my computer so unless you haven't got internet connection I would leave all those ticked but if you haven't got internet connection how are you watching this so I'm going to leave that as all collections results should be there's different types of media you can have the default is to have it all selected and it'll look for clip art photographs movies and sounds I only want to look for clip art so I can remove the ticks from the other boxes and then click go so that's going to find pictures of foxes either on my computer or on Microsoft website but only bring out clip art and then it shows you there all the available pictures if I scroll down you'll see all the different pictures that are available some are more useful than others when you find one that you like you can click on the drop down menu just to the right of it and it gives you a chance to insert it and just the bottom that you can't see unfortunately it says preview if I click there it previews the photograph in bigger detail but if you just want to insert it you can click in the middle of the picture and it inserts the image exactly where the insertion point is and you can see what it's done there it's inserted the fox in the middle of the word which is not where we wanted it at all so you do have to be careful let's just do that process again we'll put the picture here this time choose where you want it to go type in your search criteria decide where you want to look and what type of files you want to bring back then go you can then preview the files by scrolling down until you find the one that you are wanting to use there's a nice dog click on the picture and it inserts it however big it is right exactly where your cursor insertion point was yeah that's better you can see the picture now I just paused to resize that because we're going to look at resizing in one of the next videos I didn't want to show you that just at the moment so we've inserted shapes we've inserted pictures from file and we've inserted clip art or pictures the final thing that we've got to do is charts again you've got to decide where you want that chart to go a chart is another word for a graph if you're not sure of the terminology there and again the process is quite straightforward we can't do it from the drawing toolbar we've got to use the menu for this so we do insert drop down to picture and come across and drop down to chart so you can see we've already done clip art we've already done file we've done auto shapes they're exactly the same way of working as I've just shown you this time we're going to use chart and what word does then inserts for you a chart with what's called a data sheet and you can use this data sheet to modify the data for example if you don't want east west and north you can just type over those and as you type the chart is automatically updated with your data I don't want north in at all I don't want that row so we can delete it by clicking on the row selector and you can see that selects the whole row and then just press the delete key and that area disappears from the chart if the data is different we can just type over the top put different numbers in and as you type so the data in your chart is modified and you can see that's updating itself as we go again remember if you don't want a column don't delete the data like this because it just leaves a gap in the chart delete it by selecting the whole column by clicking on the column selector then the delete key on your keyboard and the chart grows itself to fill out that space once you've finished doing your editing you can click away onto the white area of your document and there you can see the chart is inside your document we can select any of these objects just by clicking on them and when you click on them you can see that it is selected and in the next video we'll look at what we can do with objects when they are selected insert objects using the drawing toolbar we've inserted things like auto shapes and squares by clicking and dragging we've inserted clip art by searching for information finding it and then clicking on the picture we've inserted pictures from file and we've inserted charts.